Hey there, my friends in tech. Welcome back to the channel. And this article dropped on Android Central, which basically outlines RCS messaging on iOS 18. And while we've been waiting for this to happen, so then that way, you know, the benefits of RCS messaging could be applied for Android to iPhone user. Um, it looks like that there is a bit of issues with RCS messaging on iOS. Now, obviously, you know, this is a new thing introduced into the um, iOS and iPhone platform. So I didn't expect things to run right off the jump, but a couple of features in RCS that's not working with RCS on the iOS 18 platform is end-to-end -end encryption with group chats, as well as emoji reactions responses. So uh, regarding the responses, basically, um, you know, Android user sees the message and decides to long press on it and then, you know, tap the thumbs up or the heart emoji. It will just read in text as like or hearted uh, the the chat, the chat post, um, which, you know, obviously it could be fixed in time. This probably is when Apple shot themselves in the foot, decided to do that. A simple thing like what Android did which make it to where it would get that type of message, but convert it to the you know, proper emoji. I think Apple should be able to do that. But the end-to-end -end encryption and group messaging, I think um, obviously Apple will solve that and we'll get to that point where um, you can enjoy a peace of mind knowing that the group chat is in fact um, secured. So those are just some of the things that they're facing right now problematically with RCS on iOS 18. Other than that, um, it seems like the rest of the functionalities of RCS messaging is working properly. So, you know, being that, you know, you can see if someone read your message or if your message was sent or if it was received and then read, you know, you'll get all those. I believe end-to-end -end encryption does work on a, you know, person-to-person -person chat rather than a group chat. So, um, yeah, just a little bit more things that Apple needs to kind of iron out with RCS messaging on iOS. However, um, I'm sure they'll probably have most of that ironed out. I mean, we're still in um, developer beta when it comes to iOS 18. I believe that the first public beta for iOS 18 will be coming like in the next two weeks. They said in the beginning of July, we should be expecting the public beta to be released. And then therefore, um, hopefully by then they have a lot of these issues ironed out with RCS messaging. But you know, it's still a work in progress. And, you know, I like to live down on Earth. So, you know, I'm not going to expect Apple to just snap their fingers and make this work 100% properly. Obviously, it's something that they really didn't want to implement into iOS. We definitely know that, especially from WWDC 2024. They've made very, very little mention of RCS and iMessage when going through what's new with iOS 18 and its apps and everything like that. So this is something that was forced upon Apple to do. So, you know, I should expect that Apple would have this fixed, not in the most quickest time as they would with their other Apple services. But what are your guys' thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section of the video. Smash the like button and thanks for watching.